Hey guys, happy Friday, I guess it is. Um, lighting is terrible how I have it, but I'm going to be turning the camera down so you can see what I'm working on. So um, what we're going to make today is we're covering this lampshade with moss and um, then you can hang it from the ceiling. Um, so I've seen that done in stores before with lampshades. I've done it in my store. Um, but this, adding the moss to it just kind of makes it more um, spring. Then you can also use it like a cloche. So like for something that's back here, I think you can see that. You can just set it over there and then you have like a spring um, decor look. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking some shades that I've already deconstructed. Um, and if you're wondering how to deconstruct them, I have a blog post actually about it because I had lots of you ask me because I have lots of deconstructed shades. Maybe they're ones that are a little bit older and they're going to have the fabric left over on them. Um, I just really like that look. And some of them that I have deconstructed are a little bit newer, although I love the shape of this one because it's curved out. So when I'm looking at lampshades, I'm looking at the age and I'm looking at the shape. Um, so this one actually had the piece here in the middle um, where you could use it as a lampshade. And you could totally use this as a lampshade um, and put it on and then put an Edison bulb or a fun LED uh, bulb on it. And you don't really need the shade part, but it gives it an awesome look. So you could do something like that. Um, that one had one of the pieces that drops down. And I just basically, for this one, I just took the hammer to it because all it is is tacked in there. And I just kept hammering it from different angles. On this one, I used pliers because I could move it back and forth. Anytime there's wire, if you just, and nails will break off too. If you just move it back and forth, bend it back and forth, it's eventually going to pop off. So this will just go into the trash. This leaves me with um, the lampshade. The next thing that you're going to need, and I have this just from being in the shop. Um, I do have some moss sheets. They're probably about the size of a piece of paper, so eight and a half by 11. Um, I have a few more, they're $4 each. But I had a huge, basically like tablecloth piece um, and I had already ripped it down into smaller sections because to me it was easier to decorate with in smaller chunks and I could um, scatter it around the shop. Um, so I grabbed one of those and I did that first lampshade and all I did was basically cut it into chunks. You can see that some of the sections are skinnier and some of them are uh, wider. All you're needing is enough that will wrap around the metal lampshade, so you don't need very much. And on the spots where I didn't have enough to wrap, all I did was go back and maybe trim some sections on a different strip and then just patched it in to cover up the shade. The other light uh, lampshade was very bright silver. This one is a lot more um, dark. Uh, not really tarnished, but kind of, kind of the tarnished look. And so it probably is not going to show up. You could always spray paint your lampshade first and then you don't have to worry about it. But I don't want it to look like it's wrapped in ribbon. I want it to be kind of fraying and shedding, um, because I want it to look like moss. Um, so all I did was just cut some strips of this and kind of how it is, is it's going to be, um, see how it's just like thinner and thicker in different spots, like right here, super thick. And then this is thin. It's kind, it's not like steel wool. It's more like the, um, sponges you use to clean dishes in your sink. Um, and so you can pull it apart. It's very wiry. Um, and so you can rip it and stretch it. And that's just what I had probably done. This one's a pretty solid sheet. Um, just to <clears throat> use it in the shop and spread it around. So all you really need is hot glue, the lampshade, um, 
you could probably use the like uh, the yarn that I have shared before. This stuff you could probably easy easily glue it on, and because this is the fraying stuff, um, it would look how I am envisioning it. So what I did was I started with the top ring, which is probably going to be kind of hard for you to see the whole thing, but. Um, you're just going to put some hot glue on there and then lay your moss on. You're basically wanting to put um, the middle, the, the bar of the lampshade in the middle of the section of greenery or moss that you're using. And then if you do want to hang these on your porch, in your house, in your shop, if you use fishing line, um, it works so well just because you can't see it. So it really looks like something is freely uh, hanging in the air. And you just continue and do this around the whole top. So. How I did it, I'm not going to do the whole lamp um, for you, but how I did it was I did the top first, the section that we're working on now. Then I went around and I did each of our vertical bars. And then I went around and I did the bottom. So I'll kind of walk you through um, a few of the sections here. So for this one, since it's more fraying, I don't want to burn my fingers. So I picked some of the thicker sections to use to glue down. And then I have this leftover part because I had to start with another strip. So I'm just going to go back here and cut that off. And again, if you don't want a straight line, it's not like anybody's going to notice it anyway, but you can just go in and pull that stuff. Okay, so after I did the uh, top ring, then what I did was go and flip it over. And now I'm gonna use the hot glue gun. I'm going to put it on the piece of metal again. And then I'm just going to wrap the moss. I might fold it and pinch it. I might wrap one side, wrap the other side. Um, every time it's kind of different. It just depends on where the glue is, how the moss is acting. You know, is it a thick chunk, a thin chunk? Just kind of play by ear on how it's, how it's behaving. This section is very hard. probably one of the thicker sections. So it doesn't really bother me that some of the metal on the lampshade is coming through because you're only going to see it from a distance anyway. No one's going to come up and examine and say, oh, well, too much of your lampshade is showing there. Okay, so this is another section that's pretty thick. So probably if I was going to do it again, I don't think I must have had any sections this thick on the other lampshade I did, I would probably pull those apart a little bit so that they were more flexible because right now it's like trying to turn a board. Okay, and again, I am totally about DIY projects uh, using things that I already have. So I am on Pinterest. And if you're on Pinterest, you should, of course, go follow me, plug for myself. But um, when I'm looking at things on Pinterest, a lot of times I'll think, oh, I actually have all of those items. Because, again, you know, a DIY or a craft project is only cheap and easy if you have the supplies. So if you have a lot of this yarn, if you, um, I shared a link uh, once about 
where you can find this yarn. If you already bought some of that yarn, then use the yarn um, for this. Hopefully I grabbed enough glue sticks. And I'm not really worried about burning myself. I know that when I say things like that, I'm probably jinxing myself, but um, I normally, if I'm thinking it's gonna be super hot, I normally just use my fingernails. Um, but you can always, you know, use a popsicle stick or use the end of your glue gun to squeeze things down. Okay, so then we have the top all wrapped. So the next thing that I did was I went through and I did these vertical pieces. So basically it's the exact same technique. I will put a bead of glue, take a section of my moss, lay it on there, and again, trying to lay it on there so that it's centered to my chunk of moss. And then I just come down here and I am just cutting it um, even with the bottom ring. And then if some of it's fraying, I leave it because I that's, that's the look I'm going for. I don't want it to look perfect and polished. And then I'm turning it around and I'm going to do the back side. So I get my glue gun in there run a bead and just like we did on the top, I'm just wrapping it. Pinching it, folding it, whatever I need to do to make it work. And you are gonna be able to tell if the glue is holding, if you need more glue in certain spots, and then you just go back and you do that. Here a little bit, it's uh, not sticking very well. And you don't have to wrap it tight. You can leave it um, loose and just have it be, um, you know, glued on each other like a tube encasing the moss. So then we have one vertical piece. So I'll do one more vertical piece for you. There is kind of a front and a back on this. The back has more brown. Okay, and this is a, a section right here that's very um, tight and compacted. So I'm gonna pull it a little bit to make it easier. I should have done that before I put it on there. So what I would do so that the next piece is a little bit more workable is I'm just kind of breaking it up a little bit. Because I would rather have to go back and take a little, cut a little scrap and patch over it than not have it wrapped very well. Okay, so we're gonna work on the back side of this piece. Again, just taking our glue. You probably don't need to go all the way down with it, but the reason that I put it on the entire surface is just because, um, like I have mentioned, some sections of the moss are thicker than others. And so I wanna make sure that I'm getting it secure. Okay, so this one I kind of folded down this side, so I'm gonna add some glue and wrap the other side. Okay. 
Again, I'm more concerned with how it looks on the front side than the back side. So there's what it's looking like. There is a spot up here that's just metal, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some glue, wrap that around. Okay, so after you get done doing all of your vertical pieces, you're gonna do the exact same thing that we did on the top, but you're going to go through and you're going to do it on the bottom. And then you can use this and hang it from the ceiling. You can use it as a cloche cover, um, whatever you want to do with it. I'm going to probably do about three of them um, because that's how much moss I think that I have. So there you go. Give you a little easy spring DIY project. All right, guys, have a good day.